Hi everyone. Welcome to Rosehaven Podcast. I'm Leslie and I'm also Bad Girl Yarns, uh, my new line of yarns that I've been dyeing and creating in sock blanks. And this is the Wool and Wine Knit Retreat. It's just afternoon, so it's not quite three o'clock, so we're, I'm waiting for the ladies to start showing up. Um, we have Fiona Ellis coming to teach and Kim um, over sorry, Kim McBrien from Indigo Dragonflies. Dragonfly, uh, she does hand dyed yarns and teaches as well. So they're coming. My husband's gone to pick up Fiona from the Via train station and we have 46 ladies coming to take classes and learn and hang out and knit. And this is McDonald Hall at Isaiah Tubbs uh, Resort in Prince Edward County, Ontario, Canada. So it's such a beautiful room. I just, we've got the lights on and the table's all set. It's so big in here. This is also where they have weddings and things too. Look at that amazing ceiling and the light in here is so pretty and there's all pine trees outside the windows. And the lake is actually straight that way. It's on a little lake. Um, it's basically, the lake opens into Lake Ontario, but we call it West Lake because it's kind of enclosed a little bit by some sand dunes and things but yeah so it's very pretty here and there's a lovely beach in front of the restaurant and there's a lovely inn there's two big buildings with all the rooms and stuff and it's beautiful and we've got all the meals are taken care of is that not the best when somebody else cooks all you do is just get up and wander to the restaurant and there it all is <laughs> and it's all paid for ahead of time it's all included in the cost of your weekend so it's pretty phenomenal and there's a lot there's quite a few ladies that have been here before like to our retreats before so and they're coming back so i can't wait to see a few of them some friends it's like um kind of like a little bit of a reunion with some of the ladies it's fun um and yeah so i'm gonna try and do a little bit of podcasting during the weekend I'm actually going to try and take a class this time. Uh, Isaiah Tubbs is so well organized, it's great. I might actually be able to sneak in and actually sit through an entire class. Half the time I don't get a chance to do that, I'm running around too much, but everything's done. I'm just sitting here relaxing and going to knit a little bit before everyone shows up, I think. So that's the plan. And um, yeah, so that's what's happening here. Um, and. I'm just blathering now, so I'm gonna stop and say goodbye. And I'm gonna sit and knit. I'm working on my hoey boxy sweater in worsted weight, so it's good. It's easy, I don't have to think about it too much. So I will chat to you later. Bye. day of our wool and wine knit retreat and this is the bar where we have drinks before dinner um, and it's a gorgeous day even though it's kind of overclass and cloudy the sun is still out and there is little west lake which is it's a lake that's in the middle of lake ontario it's by the sand makes kind of dunes sort of wrap around yeah so we just sort of have drinks in here and then we go into the main dining hall for eating. But we'll go for a little walk out on the beach so you can see the place. It's, oh, it's so gorgeous here. Everybody is really enjoying having that little bit of water access to just sit and relax. Well, <laughs> it's a little cold for sitting outside today, but it's so pretty just to look at. So this is outside the restaurant. The lake is right behind us. And you can see some of the ladies walking to McDonald Hall, which is that building sort of just tucked there. And that's where we're gonna have our classes and they're gonna start shortly, so I need to hustle. But this is sort of the bottom end of the resort and this is where all the cabins are that you can rent as well. Um, we're not in the cabins, we're up in the in air section of the, of the resort. And this is the outside of the restaurant. I'm just standing beside. I'm gonna go for a walk out to the beach. Here's the beach, nice sandy beach, big deck for the summertime when you want to sit out. And there's a the little arch gazebo because they have weddings here. Wouldn't it be pretty to get married right on the beach? 
actually. I got married on the beach, <laughs> Tim and I, 20 years ago. We had actually our 20th wedding anniversary here. It was lovely. We had did a big, we did a big group picture out on the beach for our anniversary for all our friends that were here. Oh, there's a fishing boat out there. I don't know what he's catching on this cold day, but just maybe he's tooling around. See way over there. Let's see if I can zoom in. That's the backside of the sand dunes. Um, and it kind of wraps around, and that's actually um, Dunes Beach over there. Or sorry, the outlet. I always get them mixed up, the names. <laughs> There's a lot of beaches here. And they're all lovely white sand. Ooh, that is a fresh breeze. <laughs> I'm in all my woolies, but it's amazing that cold dampness can cut right through you. Yep, looks pretty nice and serene. Okay, let's go check out the classes. So this cute little building is Williams Pavilion. We used this building last spring um, for our knit away weekend. There was like 26 of us. It was getting a little snug, so <laughs> it was lovely because <clears throat> as you can see, it's all the lovely view of the trees. <coughs> Excuse me. So we are in the bigger hall, which is McDonald Hall. And we have the upstairs in the back is where we're having the big classes. It's basically a big hall that I think I showed pictures at the beginning. And yeah, they do weddings and stuff. And then the downstairs got these big windows as well. So it's equally bright. And we have our little marketplace downstairs as well. And there's the restaurant and the water's out there. So I should probably get moseying so I don't miss my class with Kim. I'm gonna go do short row insanity today. We've all been talking about what we're going to take for classes in November, so I get to pick classes for November with Kate Atherley and Sally Melville. So I think we're going to do some brioche and entrelac, and they want some two at a time toe up socks. Yeah. <laughs> I hear people walking. Here they come, knitters. <laughs> Ready to go to school <laughs> with their little knitting bags. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We don't have to cook. We don't have to clean. We just get to knit, eat, drink, and learn. <laughs> All right, I will see you in there. Hi, everyone. This is Jeanette. Hi. Jeanette had knit, has knit these awesome felted. Well, they're knitted and then felted. Machine felted. Bird houses. Bird houses. Are these not cute? Look, it's like a little acorn. Here's the other one. <laughs> And there's like a little daisy flower. And you said you hung them in the trees? Yep, hung them in the trees and the uh, birds will eventually come and nest in them. You want to make sure that you put them somewhere where they're not going to be too um, in, in the harsh wind or where they're kind of protected. Right. You know, you don't want it to swing. You don't swing. want them swinging. You get yeah. birds with motion, yeah, motion, <laughs> motion sickness. sickness. That's Sorry, we're still at the knit treat, so everyone's really loud. We're going to talk really loud so you can hear us on the podcast. That's it. So these no, are ahead. on Ravelry. They are, and yeah. And the name is? Uh, Wren's Trio of Properties. That's right. So there's yeah. three different designs in the pattern. And um, the first one is the flower. Right? And that's, these are both the same, right? Yeah, yeah they're so both it's the, the same. It's the garden tea house. I think that's what this one's called. Yeah. And then there's also the acorn. No, is that the woodland retreat or the classic condo? No, that this is the woodland retreat. Okay. And then they do have a classic condo, which looks very similar to the acorn, except um, the roof, if you want to call it that, is sort of a combination of the two. Okay. Um, if you can kind of envision yeah, that. Yeah, because that's got but like kind of like what a garter stitch and then yeah, stocking that where exactly. this is like it's all It's a separate cap actually. Oh, and then you sew yeah. it on. Nope, you just, um, you pick up the stitches and then continue on. It, it took me a minute, it took me a little bit to get um, 
to understand what she was talking about because there's actually a false roof underneath the cap. Oh. And then they okay. you put the cap, you pick up the stitches and put the cap on. Okay. So. And you're you know, probably knitting with really big needles because it's going to get felted down. Not, no? not, not that much. Not overly. No, they felt about thirty percent. So okay. it was about a third bigger. Um, and then again, depending on the wool that you use, the biggest thing is to make sure that your fiber content is 100% wool. Yes. No acrylic in these bubbies. No. And it can't right. be superwash because that's the whole point of superwash. That's so it. it doesn't exactly. Melt. <laughs> exactly. And it's really funny. It's hard to find just 100% wool that isn't yeah. natural color. So yeah. when I started, I did um, a lot of them plain, um, but they were boring to me. If you see the top of this one, with oh, it yeah, just, just being plain green. green, right? I wanted some a bit more interest in them. Yeah. So this one has the plain green and the um, plain red, but the underneath has got more of a um, variegated, I guess, if you wanted to call it that way. I know it looks more speckled, but because of the yeah. um, shrinking with the felting. And so that one you carried two strands of two different color paint yeah, together. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. It was actually a roving, um, and fun to even squish. <laughs> <laughs> um, used the roving and um, held another plain color with it, and that able to give me the variegated coloring. Right. Yeah. So the same thing here too. I hope everyone can hear us. It just—it's really loud in the background. <laughs> We've had a great so time. It's oh, been good. so fun. So fun. But I'm yeah, so tired right now. It's something different for you. It's been so awesome, but yeah. Did you take tomorrow off? Yes, I have a nap plan in about oh, that that's two great. hours. You deserve it. You deserve it. So yeah, if you're looking for a project that's something a bit different than typical mittens or um, great scarf, yes. you know, gift ideas. Yeah, it's brilliant. Exactly. Yeah. So washing machines. You really need a top loader. Front loaders don't agitate enough. They really don't because I have one. They just sort of gently work. And yeah, you kind of have to be, you bar I borrow a friend's when I do this. Do you? Yes. And it beats the heck out of it. You want really hot water. Usually what I do, I run it through the full wash cycle, stop it before the rinse, crank it back another five minutes, and then That's hit right. it again. Do it again. And, and then I, run it right through. I found when I did mine, I would put in a pair of sneakers. Or even a, <laughs> I put in a pair of sneakers. Or um, sandals, or and uh, tennis will balls. Help sometimes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Anything to bang Anything it all that's around. going to agitate yeah. it. That's right. Cool. Absolutely. Thanks. So Jeanette. thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 <sighs> okay. We survived. <laughs> this yes. is the end of the knit retreat. Everyone has headed home after eating too much l lunch and fantastic sticky toffee cake. Very good. Yeah, sticky toffee pudding? Is that, yeah, is it pudding cake? I don't know. It was it's sloppy, awful. Yeah. sweet, and delicious. No, awesome. no calories. No. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, this is Kim, Hello. Nick Ryan of Indio Dragonfly, and Fiona Ellis, the Queen oh. of Cables. <laughs> <laughs> Princess. So, Princess. Princess. Princess? Yes. Really? Princess Fiona. Princess Fiona. Oh, okay, hey, right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? I don't want to be a queen or a princess, I want to be empress. Because oh. you know that kind of kicks everybody's butt, right? Think? Do I need to all wrestle you for that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my daughter was joking that she's calling me the Empress of the County because of the Fiber Fest in Picton. Mm -hmm. um, we had all these people come, and she said she was at the her job, and somebody came in, and they've come back to the county because they came for Fiber Fest. And they loved it so much they had to come back to the county. She's like, Mom, you're bringing all these people to the county. And she goes, You are the Empress of the County. And I'm like, Yes. Yes, come to my kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. That's really that's really great. It is. Good it's work. kind of awesome. I mean, it's probably gonna we're probably all gonna regret it all us locals in like ten years when we're <laughs> inundated <laughs> and you can't move through downtown Picton, but right now it's pretty awesome. And it is a pretty special good. place. Yeah, and this has been a fantastic week. This was amazing. Amazing. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. Lots of fun. Yeah. It was. Nobody, nobody really nobody great cried, people. right? We didn't have any. <laughs> I didn't make anybody cry. It's a little What is wrong with him? You usually I have him. You, you did. I did. I only got close. Bit. She did. She did. There was whining. Oh, yes. yeah, there, there was, was whining. whining. Yeah. And, and, and Bonnie is one, still right? not... Uh, fully forgiven me. No, she is that the, the short row insanity? No, mm -hmm. that's this morning. Oh, oh sorry, okay. yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday when oh. I gave out the cards and 
Yes, and, and you made us switch. Right. That well, was the same reason you, you want. Because next time you give that class, people will know. So this is true. Right. Okay, you didn't she, hear that. She, no. pulled a, she pulled a stunt on us. Yeah. Which is good for you. Yes. Yeah. She is. Bonnie's I am the brand around. flakes of knitting teachers. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to clean out the crap. <laughs> We dye yarn, we do stuff. And name them Victoria is just colors. over there. Say hello, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria is trying to knit on nine inch needles and she's not very happy. And I said, well, they're technically made for squirrels to knit with. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> we, have a, we have a guard shipment we can give them to. So yes, we'll there you go. Them. Put them to work. <sighs> so, in your class, what did we do? You did experiment. With Colour and Farrell yes. yesterday. So an all day class, which was just fantastic. I love that when you have the students yeah. for like mm -hmm. a whole day. Because you can really actually I'd like to have bend them, them to your will. Yeah, you, you have bend them to my will. <laughs> because what happens in a three hour class, you get to a point where it, all the magic is about to happen and then you cut people loose. Exactly. So it's nice to actually have that extra time so that you can kind of work a little and delve into it a bit more and then by the end of six hours yes. you've really mm -hmm. achieved it. And I got some great pictures of Oh, so okay. fantastic. Well, I saw yeah. a few of them and the colors and yeah. stuff, and they were even, they yeah, were, a lot of them were surprised by what yeah. they look like when they're Terrific. putting in together. And everyone was working from the same chart, but they all came up with oh. stuff that looks really, really super oh, different. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I love that when, when I was um, in art school, that's what would happen. We'd have 13 of us all set the same brief, the same yarn, and everything, and we would come back with our collections, and they would just be so different. That is mm -hmm. the cover. Um, I had one. Um, on a colleague who would only pick one color and everything she'd do was about texture and silhouette and it was all solid and I'd be like presented with all of the colors and I'd be like well I can't leave one out because I might hurt his feelings <laughs> so I have to include everything so, yeah. Yeah. or pink yeah. or the red yeah. it's being neglected <laughs> <laughs> well I like the one we were playing with uh, were the colors with yours Kim when we mm -hmm. um, you said pick a color that you hate and it's like ugh. <laughs> I know. And then at first I'm like, well, I don't really hate any color. They went, no, no, there's a color I hate. And what, then, what like, you, or a color you, you just wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. If you, Brown. if you could choose, oh, it's just you me. wouldn't have that color anywhere near. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's, there is. That's the thing. Like when you say brown, a brown yeah. is like a giant spectrum. Exactly. Yeah. But it's like that, the fleshy, pasty. Ooh, that. Sort yeah. Of yeah. Just like yeah. when you know when you, if you color. if you wore it, you would. <laughs> Look yeah. like from a distance, you're flashing yourself, but yeah, and it doesn't do anything for your skin tones, and it's just oh, mm. it's the color that all the Oscar dresses were in yeah. last year. Yeah, that on camera looks horrible. Yeah, and it's just it's blah. Yes, yeah. well that's it's the thing. I don't do blah. Is, yeah. It's just <laughs> meh. And there's those colors are really really difficult to work with until you start putting them with. Something colors else. that you really love, and right. if you take the colors you really love and the colors you really hate. They usually work really well together. Yes. Yeah. It's like I was they determined to prove piece. that wrong. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, Do you make you work? Can't. Yeah, you can't prove right. you wrong. You it's, know what no. I always say? You know, just as she's a trained professional. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I am going to totally prove this wrong because this is crap no matter what you put with it. And it's like, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to say, every time I do that exercise in the class, I learn stuff. Oh, cool. So I love teaching I, yeah. that creativity <laughs> class because I always walk away feeling more inspired than I did when yeah. I started. Yeah. yeah, actually I always do that from yeah. my class too yesterday yeah. about the colour exactly. and, and uh, you know, I, I think it's because if you always choose colours, that all the ones you love, they're all in the same area. Yes. yes. So then yeah. you have no contrast or nothing, no excitement exactly. happening. And uh, good job I was downstairs yesterday because I do this thing about talking about how, you know, patterns can be just like a rhythm, like marching mm. is you know, and I'm stamping on the floor, <laughs> yeah. watching, but then you throw in a break, mm -hmm. something interesting, something unexpected, as yes. Monty yeah. Python said, and now for something completely different, yes. then there's an excitement and an interest, and the exactly. eye goes and says, oh, what's that, what's happening there? Yeah. And so yeah, I do. And it's my tap dance thing, It's like yeah. when you're listening yeah. to a song, and exactly. there's one chord that's out of place. Right. 
Unexpected. Right? Unexpected. Unexpected. And it makes you fall yeah. in love with that song. Exactly. Wake up and take note and yeah. that pulls you back right yeah. back in. So I, that's why yeah. I do my dance routine and my tap dancing instead of marching. <laughs> but so did you do the on. belly dancing? I didn't do belly dancing this weekend. No, no. I, but I did get pictures of your shoes, so we will show right. you her fantastic yes. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about the shoes. It know? is. I think every time you start with different with shoes. shoes. <laughs> I'm doing a retreat with Fiona. I better pack the good shoes. shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. You call me first, like, what are you wearing? So. <laughs> yeah, which is, we usually have blue box on, and I'm done to my Doc yeah. Martens oh, this yeah. time. So, yeah. yeah, well, it's the, well, it's the Martin season a little it more, is. so. It's the weather. Yes. Yeah. Blue bogs are summer, fall -ish. I have some they pretty cool do. boots. I've got my eye on a pair of boots right there. I, don't know. I love blue box. They're a Canadian shoe. If you ever want to see some very mm -hmm. funky Fantastic. shoes with really cool heels, that's the thing though. They, they've got a lot of heels, and I don't do heels. Yeah, but these are, these are blue box. Are they? Yeah. They are, and they've got really great traction. So okay. Yeah. These are the ones I that I wear. Know. Yeah, but I also have size five feet, <laughs> so you can't get heels on. Yeah, you can't wear the same. Like, I was yeah, we can't chair shoes because no, I have a no, size no, eight. Surprise. Yeah. No, um, yeah. you're smaller. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Blue Vogue is in Toronto and they sell online and they have found me because my Facebook yeah. feed, that little side column goes, Blue Vogue. Yes. Blue Vogue. Yes. Yes. Stop yes. it! <laughs> <laughs> and now that I've said Blue Vogue three times, when I turn my Facebook on on my phone, it's going to go show Blue Vogue yeah. because you said it they're again. listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said it again. I know. How many times? Did, did I tell you I, I met John Blue Vogue? You did not. When they opened the distillery store, he really? came and he was signing shoes, right? <laughs> He's tall and handsome. And I, I was wearing my prepare, so my guides mm -hmm. makes me over six feet tall and he was taller than I was. Ooh, and I, I, mean, I may have gushed. <laughs> I, mean, I may have Why gushed. Why could you not? I and I think I Shocking. said he was a genius and he said he's very quiet and retiring, shy and retiring and said, Genius, no. And I was like, well, no, not in a curing cancer kind of genius. But shoes, <laughs> but you know. Shoes, right? genius. <laughs> in the design world. Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And he's been in the business since the 70s. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so he's like yeah, so he's a nice age. Yeah. It's like he's, a nice yes, mature. He's very, I think he's happily married as well, probably. Yeah. We only want him for his shoes. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, are we happy with you? Yes, oh, that's right. Oh, okay, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got Tim when he was in today that was my son. I'm like, um, no. <laughs> like, I don't know what does that say about me. It's like, oh my god. Like, he's got gray hairs too. It's like, it's not just me. It's like, he's got such long hair right yeah, now. He's so. very impressive. I told you I had this funny dream that he was going to pick me up at the railway station and that I would recognize him this year because I've met him. Yeah. But that he dyed his hair yellow. I know. <laughs> That would be no, it's like, so wrong on him. It's just so dark, right? Yeah, it's just not, the not good. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, not good. Yeah, not a good look on it. <laughs> but what yellow? Because if it's the right yellow, oh, yes, it's the right true. yellow actually. Not oh, like blonde. Blonde. It wasn't blonde. It was yellow. Yeah, like can that, that would look yeah, that's wrong. The dark no, eyes, no. dark glasses, and the goatee. No, he looks no. much better no. in the dark. No, and yeah. he he's one of those people that can't yeah. wear white shirts. And I thought, what the hell are you talking about? And then he put a white shirt on. I'm like, oh dear God, no. Yeah. He just he's yeah. Yeah, sallow and really. Yeah. Yeah. It's I can't like cream. Oh, did you say tomato? Awful. Tomato. Awful. 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 Awful as in waffle. Rhymes with waffle. No, we have not been drinking. We're just a little bit from uh, teaching <laughs> too, too all weekend. Too much adrenaline. <laughs> yeah. 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 Much yeah. Giddy, too much excitement. You do get really kind of giddy. And, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's going to be the drive home after I drop you at the Via station. I'm just going to start going. Yeah. <laughs> I have a 45 minute drive home. Yeah. 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 Did I mention I hair gel my face this morning? <laughs> 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 that's a very fresh. So that's where we yeah. are. Yes. <laughs> Good you had a hard class though with the whole short row. It's like the yarn in the front and pearl, and everyone's going, No, we're knitting. Oh, pearl knit. Whatever, oh, working. whatever, whatever side on. is just flip the yarn over the needle. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to my words. <laughs> You're not going to ever use this one anyway. Yes. <laughs> just wait That's till like, the last one. I, I, teach, I sometimes teach people to knit backwards, and then I say, And you could pearl backwards too, but like, why would you? you? Like, yeah, really? yes. why would you? But you <laughs> can. Yeah. <laughs> Except if you're knitting backwards in garter stitch, you have to curl backwards. There's always one. There's always one. So, because for optical delusion, because there's so many short rows in it, 
And because the short rows get smaller and smaller and smaller, yeah. it makes sense to knit backwards mm -hmm. or curl backwards. It makes sense to work it backwards. backwards. Yeah. And because you're working yeah. in garter stitch, that'll be the next workshop I teach for you. There we okay. go. One of us, one right. of us will. One. We, yeah. we should do it together. Well, well you know, we've talked 2019 about 2019 is open at this point. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we've talked about doing okay. duets. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine the dance routine yeah. that? Yeah. I don't dance. I'm not sure that it's You understand? Red, yes. <laughs> so here's my dance history. Because <laughs> I know you're really interested. <laughs> you when I was six, my two grandmothers sat in the front row of my ballet recital and laughed their heads off through the whole thing. Hmm. So that we get, that was the end um, of my dance yeah, career right there. Yeah, right. Until university, when I took a class called Dance for Non Dancers. Oh, how did it work out? <laughs> I, I passed. It was pass fail. Yeah. I oh, passed. Yeah. <laughs> she showed up every week. <laughs> Pretty much. That's all I had to do. And I figured it was a way of, for me, it was a way of getting some exercise. Yeah, yeah. It is and also a terrific exercise. Yeah, it's like, terrific. Yeah, my exercise. bad. Dance class, I come out like sweating like crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, like working muscles. Okay, it wasn't that much happen. exercise, but. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I just, mostly I thought it was a really funny name for a class, so. I should dance. take it. Dance for non dancers. <laughs> what university has a class called right. Dance for This is before the dummies idea, right? Because they, you know, yes, Dance dummies for Dummies. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm looking right. for a book called Black Holes for Dummies right now. Cause right? Because you need to know. Because yeah, now the string and the yeah, knots, and, the knots and, the and all of this. That I'm just and nobody about. knows what we're talking what? about. <laughs> <laughs> what? But if they, if they read my blog post this month, they will. Okay, okay, so everybody yeah. read Fiona's yeah. blog post yeah. on the 9th ish yes. date. Ish, yes. The 9th ish the, of the month. Very early on the 10th, I posted it. So. <laughs> the 9th ish of the month. Yes, <laughs> the 9th ish of the month. <laughs> Online on 9 ish. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you got coming up now? What have I got coming up? Well, I've got some fun stuff. Um, yeah, actually, I've got a speaking engagement next Friday at a women's arts group in Peterborough, oh, okay. which is kind of neat. So, it'll be non knit oriented but obviously that's my expertise so I'm going to take what I know about design and put it in a broader spectrum. For so the ladies that are going to this are obviously not necessarily knitters but they're just uh, they're artists of some persuasion okay so um, you know all sorts of different medium well but yeah not color knitters. kind of runs across for sure it does yeah, yeah. all of the design principles work yeah. in, in every field that's true. And, yeah yep. so uh, that's going to be interesting but then I've got some fun travel coming up so Yes. Yeah. Get to go to New York. I'm going to New York New with York. Kate Ashley. And, uh, oh, yes. are you doing Thanksgiving in New York with Kate? I know. So I jealous. Know. So where do you go for turkey dinner in New York City? The Dutch. Oh, yeah. She has a friend that has a restaurant in New York. Oh. And so yeah. they go there. Do they do turkey? or are you They do the again? full Thanksgiving. Oh, nice. And there's four desserts on the menu and there's going to be four of us because we, we're bringing our, you know, if I'm still married, we're bringing our. <laughs> 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 um, if yeah. you're not still married, you don't need to I'll do the black hole thing. I'll just find someone. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm available. <laughs> Ask Mr. Flubog if you'd like to go to New York. I'm sure I can teach him. You know, I'll treat him to a turkey dinner. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, so we're going to do that and we're going to eat our way through New York and uh, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be shoe shopping or yarn shops. Yeah. Actually, we, we've got, um, we definitely want to go to MoMA. There's an exhibition on there that Kate and I both are oh. dying to see. So. Right. I'm so jealous. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited <laughs> about it. And then, uh, it just takes a big suitcase though. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Or an extra oh, one. Oh, the shoes. I'll keep the big ones for my shoes. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I'm going to London for fun. Nice. Yeah. yeah. How long are you going to be in London? Five days, I think. Four days, yes. five days. Go That's almost barely enough minutes. to get your sort of. Yeah, your, I'm not going to worry about the jet lag. Jet yeah. lag is usually worse on the way back. Though, yeah. Like, well, when you're having fun, you don't care. Yeah. I just ignore. Who cares what time you have to get up and go to bed? Yeah. <laughs> just eat when you want to eat. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> what have you got going on, Kim? Uh, lots of dyeing coming up. We have Gift of Palooza is opening this week. Oh, is it this Gift week? Of, yeah. What is yeah. Gift you of Palooza? No. You know what Gift of Palooza is? Oh, yes. Gift of Palooza is the most brilliant thing ever. So you sign up for a package okay. to send to somebody else. Okay. So a yarn package to send to somebody else. And it's oh. yarn knit related. Yes. So you okay. choose. Do people send them to themselves? No. Send no. To no. So. Here's the theory. You, you choose a package. There are several different yarn types to choose from. Colors are one of a kind. 
um, non repeatable. The camera's still going. Only, yes, it's still going. <laughs> only available as Gift of Palooza colors, and you can only get leftovers if you signed up for Gift of Palooza. So you sign up for the package, you sign up for a package to send to somebody else, and then you receive the same package back from somebody else in December. Oh. Right? So it's a little bit of a secret Santa. Right. It's also a little bit of a, I didn't buy yarn for myself for gift. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I bought yarn for somebody else for Christmas. Yeah. That's and cool. so you literally get, and we, we go all out, and we, we always add some sort of extra say, little there's gift. There's always fun stuff in there. Yeah, right? and this yeah. year we're adding books in as well. So we're at, so you can okay. choose from Carson, Carson's Knitting Comfortably yeah. book. Yeah. You can choose from Kate Atherley's Knit Knits book. You can choose Bristol, one, the yes, one, yeah. mm -hmm. Bristol Ivy's um, Knitting, Knitting Outside oh, the Box. Yeah. Or you can choose a stash of their own that I have an essay in. Um, and if you want me to sign it, I will sign okay. it. I will also sign the front of Kate's book because our right. yarn is on the front of it. <laughs> and I'm also happy to sign Bristol's book because our yarn is in it. Yeah. I'll also sign that, Carson's yeah. book too just because I don't know. Because, yeah. it's as, long as, you do it as long as you do it comfortably. comfortably. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes, I will have a cushioned pen to do that. Um, and, then, and we literally wrap the presents like a Christmas present. So if you, cool. oh, if you want to, you can put it under a tree as a Christmas present awesome. yeah. for, your, for yourself. Yes. Um, and it actually says right on the label, to Fiona from Kim, <laughs> or to Fiona from Leslie, right. um, from this other person. And then we also, because it's, for us, it's all about the community that gets created. So we also pair you up with another knitter to send holiday greetings to. So oh, people send each other recipes, they send each other patterns, they send each other cards, kids' drawings, photographs, oh, a little story cool. about themselves. Oh, yeah, cool. and so we started, we started doing it with people sending us stuff and then we would right. distribute it, but now we just have them contact each other. So like this is a little bit like how we used to have pen pals. You exactly, know? Yeah. exactly. Yeah. And so, so did you organize this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is, it is Canadians or Americans too? Like, Everybody. It's all over the world. Oh wow. Okay. And in addition to all of that, what we started getting with our customers is people asking if they could buy a package for us to randomly send to somebody who might be having a bad year. Fantastic. And so now, because so many people wanted that, you can also just buy an anonymous package. That's great. Yeah. And we ask for nominations, so people send us nominations of, of people that um, like one year, um, we had somebody who was going through cancer treatment and had a four-year-old daughter. We had somebody else whose son was really sick. Sometimes it's just a person who's just lost their job and they're just feeling kind of awful. Um, so, so basically, I call it um, my customer's way of making me cry for a month. Yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty so much just... sobbing the entire time. Yeah. And so these people get this gift out of the blue. Nice. Some yarn out of the That's blue. Really nice. Um, they know who's nominated them, and they know who the yarn comes from. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a really, I really love hearing back from the people who just randomly get these packages out of the oh, blue. Yeah, it makes me feel very Santa Claus. Like and we try to keep it very one. holiday neutral. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's just this time of year. Yeah. We don't, the wrapping paper we use is usually winter related or knitting yeah. related. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. And so that's the big thing that's coming up well, for us yeah, now. That's a lot of work. It is yeah. a lot of work, mm -hmm. but I, I think it's also the, the one of the things that we as a company really love doing. Yeah. Like there's no sure. part of this that we don't love right. to do. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. That's awesome. And so they yeah. sign up with this on your On website? our website. So like, you go to our web shop and it's one of, one of the items. It'll be, it'll say Gift of Palooza. So is it closed at this point or is there still No, more? we start signups on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, so they yes. haven't even started yet. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's also just really great, even if you're not partaking, because you yeah. know I, I often just follow along and watch the threads yes. on yeah. them. Oh, isn't just that fun? Stories yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it's really yeah. 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 And Ron comes up with holiday related oh, names. Does like, he? Uh, <laughs> he's like the name of the names. Doctor Whoville was one on here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I can't remember any of the others right now. Yeah. But they're really fun. Just amazing. 
Well, guys, oh, get her wrap it up so we gotta get train to get trained to catch. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was so awesome. You guys are so much fun. Yay! So we will talk to you guys later, and that's a wrap of the knit. What do we what do we call this? The wool and wine knit retreat. It's a wrap. It's almost nap time. Bye.